When was the last time you guys actually came into Best Buy and checked out some of this car audio products? Man, they definitely got a lot of stuff in here, man. I ain't gonna lie. I'm actually pretty surprised with the products and the brands that they have actually in here. I haven't been inside here in a long time to actually check out their stuff. I'm pretty impressed. Today we are at Best Buy. I heard they got some car audio products inside there. Some subwoofer, amps, radios, anything you can possibly get. And I'm pretty sure you can get it installed here. So enough waiting. Let's go inside and see what they got. Let's do it. So behind me, man, is definitely so many different, better products and what we actually discussed over yesterday in the Walmart videos and all my other Walmart videos that I have done. Man, I haven't been into Best Buy in a good little minute, but man, the products I'm about to show you, man, they're really badass. And don't forget to subscribe to their channel. Definitely hit that like because your boy's out here on the ground for you guys, man. So let's check these products out. Guys, man, your boy has walked inside here and I'm actually pretty impressed on the products that are actually inside of Best Buy, guys. But they do have marine audio as well, too, if you have a boat. They got audio control amps, Kenwood amps, a Pioneer Double Den. And this is just a clearance section, so they have a little bit of stuff. Over here, they have some JBL and Pioneer speakers not the greatest in the world but if you got a factory subwoofer that you want to upgrade man most definitely that guy would definitely work i think they're 10 inches so sometimes there's an 8 inch or 10 inch subwoofer in your factory uh vehicles and you can just swap out with one of those little guys and it's definitely gonna punch a little bit better than what you got factory right off the bat man we have some kid wood six and a half for 79 dollars guys um man they already right off the bat they look pretty good if you want your speaker to display a little bit man this guy left it looks pretty badass it has some rose gold on it as well with the three-way in it it's got some rose gold but if we go over here we have just uh, it looks like it's a component system it's just missing the tweeter uh, and for 40 bucks that's not bad and this guy's actually on clearance and then over here we have some jbl speakers uh six and a half two-way coaxials 93 dollars man actually that's pretty good if you're just trying to do a factory replacement any of these right here factory wise would definitely do the job if you're just trying to look for a new factory um, installed sound system. Here we're gonna get into the big boy radios, guys. Pioneer's got a big boy radio right here, another big boy Pioneer radio, and then we have another big boy Pioneer radio right here as well too. Pioneer is always gonna be the leading brand in after market radios, guys. That's just, you know, my opinion. You guys probably like Kenwood. I love Kenwood too, um, but it's a little bit more pricier. But man, for Pioneer, what it does and the pricing um pretty much you know you got pricing on different radios that's gonna pretty much work for any application that you're trying to do so if you want one that's just like a regular bluetooth radio or if you want one with the virtual navigation um you'll find a pioneer radio that's going to work for you and in the price range that you're actually trying to stay at even pioneers got this flip out too it's gonna hit right here on this guy but man i love that flip out stuff to get it i'm gonna stop it before it hits if I had a single din opening and I couldn't, I couldn't put a double din in, man, I'm gonna definitely go to a Pioneer flip out, man. This guy right here is badass. And look at that glossy finish. Man, that glossy finish is no joke. But look at this guy, man. If you wanna spring the extra $1,200, man, look at this thing. That thing is badass. Look. Big old display. Look at that display. That's pretty much the natural one this is a definition of a big dog radio right here man that word that i always use big dog man this is definitely a big dog radio this one is twelve hundred dollars and this one right here is a nine inch and this was 359 but this one probably doesn't come with as many features as that other one in there but man look at that size man for 300 dollars, if that's what it is guys man you can't beat that look how big that guy is for 349 so we'll say 375 after taxes and everything man this thing is amazing look at that thing that thing is crazy just look this jvc right here 6.8 it has the apple carplay it does have a real nice finish but man comparison to that guy man look at that screen when you pull up and this thing is lit it's gonna look like you have an ipad or a tesla screen in your car man that thing is crazy look at that thing okay so back to the radio so now we have a kenwood 6.8 this one actually comes with navigation and everything i don't think it's powered on but man basically like a thousand dollars 
Um, so if you want a nicer double din, man, the Kenwood's always going to be a go-to guy right here. But man, it's, it's definitely not budget friendly. But if you're in the line to buy the greatest product ever, man, definitely the Kenwood radio right here, man, it is going to do the job. And it's going to have everything that you want. So you're going to get your money's worth. We actually have another Pioneer radio. It is Android Auto and Apple CarPlay ready, Bluetooth digital media. Um, 6.8 screen this guy's actually $600 a little bit more expensive than we actually seen in yesterday's video at Walmart but man this guy's definitely got to have the works and sometimes these are someone sometimes the radios work a little bit more faster than the other ones the other ones were more economic better but man this one if you're trying to spring out the big bucks man for 600 bucks you can definitely get this pioneer right here and look at it it is a very nice finish at that all touch screen Bluetooth um, Alexa, look at that thing, it has Alexa, that's crazy. Here we go with the Sony. Man, yesterday Sony was killing the game, but today, in today's video, man, that Pioneer right there is no joke. But look at this Sony. Seven inch screen, wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, uh, has the Maestro, so that's like the steering wheel controls or modules that work with it perfect. Uh, man, 500 bucks. One thing I will say, man, the products here at Best Buy are probably a little bit more expensive than Walmart, but man, definitely you're gonna get the bang for your buck here. Uh, because if you want a badass product and you're not scared to cough over those little extra dollars, man, definitely Best Buy is your ticket. And I'm pretty sure that the return policy is in here, like if you buy a big screen, um, you know, so pretty much you got warranty and all that stuff here as long as you save your receipt, man. Always save your receipt. Now we're actually coming a little bit more budget-friendly Pioneer radios. This one has Android Auto and Apple CarPlay as well too. $399. Uh, look, there it is right here. Um, more of a nice glossier finish man this thing looks really badass you see like it's it, the gloss in it man all your control buttons are back here um, this one the screen is a little bit smaller because it has that control panel right here mom but definitely this guy right here um, it looks really really good uh, really no complaints you know they are a little bit more expensive like I said from Walmart yesterday this right here at Walmart probably costs like probably like two hundred dollars two hundred dollars and some change but here four hundred bucks so we'll say four thirty man it is definitely uh, worth every single dollar of it it has all the extra features on it that are gonna just amaze you look at this big boy right here man this big dog radio I don't have the price on it but man it I, I'm in love with these big ones I, I'm not even gonna lie the flip out it's gonna cost you seven hundred dollars but this one comes with the uh, Android Auto Apple CarPlay as well Bluetooth digital media and if you cannot fit one of these guys or that doubled in there, man, that flip out is definitely gonna do the job. And man, look at that finish. That is a quality radio. Look at that. That thing is wet. That thing is definitely wet. Kenwood, look at Kenwood. Kenwood's looking nice right here. Man, I've always liked the finishes on Kenwood and like that blue on it, man, looks really, really badass. Uh, Android Auto again, Apple CarPlay, built-in Bluetooth. Uh, man, this one's 300 bucks. Not bad. I'm, I'm actually pretty impressed with the Kenwood. I'd feel this guy right here would be $500 or $600, but for the $299, $350 three, maybe after taxes, man, this thing is badass. Another Pioneer for $500, maybe $550. Uh, man, pretty much all these radios here at Best Buy have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Uh, the controls are right here. These are actually buttons versus it being digital, like right here. You see what I'm saying? These are physically that you can touch. These are actually more of a touchscreen button. So you see the difference, you know, this one right here is $399 with the digital, and these are $499, but this one probably has way more features, uh, better equalizations, and they probably all have front, rear, and sub as well too, outputs with the RCAs. Look at this one. This was a full HD radio, guys. $249, dang, that's, that's a pretty good price for it being a full HD radio, man, Android Auto. Uh, all that stuff, man. Psh, look at this. And this one has Pandora and Spotify and stuff on it, so you can download those apps. Uh, little smaller 6.8 screen. The external buttons right here as well, too. Looks really good, man. And for the price, you cannot go wrong, guys. This is probably like the cheapest radio here at Best Buy, but man, look at it. It is definitely worth every dollar. That finish, man, I love that gloss black finish, man. I think every single radio yesterday had more of a flatter black finish versus today at Best Buy, man, all these videos are actually all gloss black. Man, another Android Auto Apple CarPlay Pioneer. This one's a little bit more budget friendly as well too. 349, so we'll say maybe 380 out the door. Uh, but now all your control buttons are along the bottom, so that gives you more of a bigger wide screen and everything's touch screen. And as you can just see, it just did um, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto's right there. Sony radio, um, 300 bucks, not bad. 
uh, Apple CarPlay, built-in Bluetooth. It looks really good. Um, and pretty much some of these and some of these don't have CD. Like this one has CD, CD, but that one doesn't. Look at this JVC. We were just going over this guy right now. Uh, 279 looks really good. Man, it has that gloss black finish as well too. Um, the buttons on the side are actually digital. Man, and look at that screen. That thing is dope. I'm not even kidding you guys. That thing is definitely dope. Look at that. Really, really badass. Looks like a good ass radio. Uh, JVC, uh, it's all right. It's a pretty good brand. It's always been around for so many years. So 279 for that guy, thumbs up. Still can't get over if this radio is really 349. I'm about to ask the dude right now and your boy may buy this one. But look, 349 for that big old screen. And that's crazy. I'm gonna actually look it up when I leave from here and see if it's actually 249. And that may be a radio that we actually could put in something else or just save it. Audio control, that's crazy. They got audio control in here. Uh, the LC2 in case you're trying to do an inline converter, keep your factory radio. Man, this guy's right here. This is what I really should put in my truck. I have that cheaper one from Walmart, but it gets the job done. Uh, and this guy right here would give us a little bit more better sound quality than what is in the Silverado. But man, the Silverado jams, so I have no reason to touch it. Uh, this is a two channel one if you're doing a mids and high amp and a sub amp. Uh, this is LC1, which is just like one in, one out. Uh, so if you're just trying to connect a regular, just a single subwoofer or trying to upgrade uh, more sound at your factory speakers and just connect an amp for your factory speakers, uh, this one right here will actually do the job. And look, the LC2 is $139, the LC1 $89. So they're actually pretty good pricing, I'm not even gonna lie. And they actually had the six channel line out. Um, they don't have it on display, so they probably use it. But man, for 64 bucks, man, you can't go wrong, man. That thing, it's gonna do its job. The LC, uh, the audio control brand, the LC2, products man those are awfully are always top of the line stuff if you want to keep your factory radio and make it work with aftermarket amps epicenter man if you're trying to play some beach boys or something that doesn't have bass man the epicenter is always going to do its job man and we have the bass doubler in my truck that one works but obviously everybody's always go to is the audio control epicenter and look they got it here at best buy for 249 that's not bad um and these things used to be the size of probably like this but this is actually a smaller version now, man, and you can just pretty much stick that guy anywhere you want. 249, come get it. Here's that audio control amp, and I think it's the one that was over here. Look. Yeah, look at this guy. 1800, or this is a 800.1. So this is, you can just probably put it like on a single sub, uh, and you're gonna, that thing will beat. My friend actually loves doing the audio control stuff amps. He's actually building some box Chevy or a Dunk or something like that. And he's actually got the, eight, yeah, yeah, I think he's got the same one, the 800.1, just for the subs. And I think he has like a 400.4 just for the mids and highs. Uh, so these are obviously going to be a good quality amp. Like power is going to be off the wall with that guy. Those audio control amps, they're probably like real decent true power. I remember back in the day they used to say real deal amps are uh, a dollar a watt. So if you have a 3000 watt amp, it's gonna be $3,000 to make sure you have a true, you know, wattage app. But I could be wrong. So here, we'll just go over quick with some of the things real quick. So they do have the Kicker uh, 6.5s. Uh, these are actually Marine speakers. This is probably just all Marine right here as well too. Uh, another Marine Kenwood, 89 bucks, uh, 199. So these are probably a little bit louder. Uh, right here, another Indash Kenwood. It is Marine ready. Uh, 212 man you know you can't go wrong if you got a boat uh, or something maybe a side-by-side -side or one of those uh, can-ams man these radios right here would definitely work but I'm pretty sure they sell the bigger square ones that just fit right inside there I know Rockford Fosgate makes a lot of stuff for the, the off-the-road stuff okay real quick let's get into these small kicker amps these are the smart ones right here these guys are so small that you can put them in the motorcycles um, if you're just trying to stuff them behind the dash, if you have another off-road little vehicle you want to put some speakers in it, um, these right here you can just mount anywhere. They take less power for them to actually work. And, you know, if you just want a little extra kick, man, you know, better than what it is factory, man, these are definitely a go-to amp right here. You know, they have a powered square box right here. That thing will probably beat. What is this? This is a 12-inch Solibaric. Uh, this one can handle 750 watts, 1500 watts max. Come get it. Man, they got it at Best Buy. We have another smaller Kenwood amp as well too. This looks like it is just a two channel, 1000 watt amp. You can put that on some bass. I think it'll definitely sound good. Over here we have another Pioneer. 
we have it is a class d amp this guy right here is definitely for the bass guys and for 199 um you can probably find like a Terra amps or something else for that price range but if you're just that type of guy that just wants to stick with the old school top brands man pioneer is definitely a good guy to go to kickers right here they're all right i'm not even gonna lie to you but like i said man if you just want something fast and easy man best buy has got the kicker right here i don't actually have the price in it but this amp will definitely do its job and it's a four channel more prefab boxes with some kickers in it i'm pretty sure these guys right here you can put them in a jeep or in a truck and it's going to give you that extra kick that you're looking for um, not going to be a lot of heavy bass i'll just tell you that right off the bat but if you're just looking for something just to get you riding make feeling yourself in the car and vibing man this is definitely going to do the trick for you here we go we have another jbl man jbl amp jbl used to make some badass amps i'm not even going to lie I think one of my first amps that I ever bought was a 1200 JBL amp. And this one I'm pretty sure does, you know, the trick and it definitely quads out. This one's probably just a regular two channel mono block. Alpine makes some pretty good sound quality amps as well too. Like there's another Alpine one right there and it's definitely gonna do the job if you got a small application you're trying to do. So here we go with the Type S Alpine preloaded sub, man. This thing will definitely quad out. Man, I know Alpine makes nothing but badass products, guys. I like the Alpine Type X, but obviously we can't get it here. But this Type S right here, man, it is definitely going to do its job. And the prefab already with the port right there, SUV or something, you know, Jeep, man, this thing will definitely bang. So let me know what you guys think in the comments of the Best Buy stuff, man. Is it a good bang for your buck? Would you guys spend the extra money and get some products from Best Buy versus Walmart? You guys let me know in the comments. Can't get over this radio to see if it's 349. I'm about to ask the dude and see what he's talking about. But man, other than that, man, Best Buy products, man, they are crazy, crazy, crazy. They actually look like good stuff. Um, you know, sometimes, you know, we're all strung out on all these other products, but maybe if you just have a factory car or maybe if you just have uh, a stock audio system in your car and you want to upgrade a little bit, definitely come here and get some products. All right, gang. So definitely it is Labor Day today, man. I hope you guys, if you guys had a day off, man, I hope you guys enjoyed yourself today. Man, I had a big old headache with my Silverado, man. I almost traded that guy in, but I fixed the situation in it. And now on the next video, we're going to actually get back to the door panel build, man. So definitely stay tuned for that. Uh, man subscribe to the channel if you like car audio videos you are at the right place to be at we do all home audio installations so with all that being said man keep basing on install it at your house and give it a shot and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace